A hidden block. And there's money in there. Seven coins to be exact. Ow! No! 
Yeah, I wasn't so fortunate there. Hey, oh, oh, that was close. And Dominic wins. But yeah, like these people that were giving these harsh criticisms of Princess Peach Showtime, like specifically complaining, oh, it's too easy. I mean, like Dominic said before, the full game isn't even out yet. So. That's right. That's right. Not only that, but it's a demo. Of course, it's going to be easy. If the demo is too hard, it, I, 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 some players, or if not most players, are going to. Exactly. Oh, and speaking, and funny mentioned good experience because um, the people because uh, apparently some data mining of the demo was done uh, by some uh, often observant uh, Nintendo enthusiasts, and it has been determined that more than likely this game is uh, was made by Goodfield, who of course uh, made some of those uh, those two Yoshi games, uh, Woolly World and Crafted World. Uh, they also made Kirby's Epic Yarn. Yep, they did make Kirby's Epic Yarn. And I believe they were also responsible for the 3DS remake Extra Epic Yarn. Which we should be about to I don't think they should have made it on the 3DS. You know, on the Extra Epic Yarn, they could have just made it on the Switch. And as it applies to... Uh, chose to put it on the 3DS, despite the fact that the Switch was already like two years into its life cycle at that point. So more than likely, if they should have put it on there, then it probably would have been more successful and uh, more people likely would have gotten it. And then maybe Alpha 3 doesn't go bankrupt. Who knows? Yeah, yeah. And then if Alpha Dream doesn't go bankrupt, then chances are we probably get more Mario and Luigi games. Basically a what-if scenario with that at this point. Like, and yeah, because like, uh, and also, and also, I mean, yeah, to be fair, even if they would have remade Prayers of Time on 3DS, they still would have just sold well for the same reasons about the next story remake failed. Um, Personally, I think they should have just done this thing where they just release the Bowser's History remake on Switch, you know, because, you know, if, if, if they didn't want you to release it exclusively on Switch, they could release it on both the 3DS and Switch, so that way both, both players are happy. Well, I can kind of see your point, but a possible Switch version would have uh, had another tough time trying to utilize touch screen, screen controls. I mean, I think for the Switch version, they probably would have had to rework some of the controls to not include the touch screen. Yeah, I know, but they kind of made mistakes. Like, for example, Bowser punching. Instead of using, you know, the, the touch screen or whatever to punch, 
you can just rotate analog stick a certain direction and Bowser's punch it, but you gotta do it at the correct timing or something. I don't even know. Alright, I'll take... Oh, oops, I didn't want to go that. I'll take this one. But, oh well, it is what it is. The people over there are... 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 Alright, well... Well, on the one hand, this will actually work out for me because I, uh, at least that way, I avoid the uh, danger that's down this way. Well, that puts you have way more than enough coins to go around, uh, especially because of, let me say, cash that was there. And, and this basically uh, serves as a great shortcut for you like this. Exactly. But if, it, if it was the original party version, though, it, uh, it's basically a trap. So yeah. So yeah, there is. So yeah, I, I, I can kind of see why why they designed it this way. Basically, a shortcut for the players. But if you have enough coins, if you have a lot of coins with you, seeing Bowser isn't even a punishment. Well, now I've got three full sets. Exactly. But I honestly like having a full set of uh, double dice a lot better. Plus, with the way I've been moving in this game, having all those double dice could help me out. Failed on the first daily double, but hopefully this time I can get it. Oh, and also since this is a daily double, I actually forgot to do the sound effect on the first one, but do 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 do. Well, not quite. Daniel got it that time. I will say as well that um, I did beat the main campaign for Kirby and Forgotten Land, but, uh, but I collected all of the souls that the game wanted me to collect. Um, I just had I, I have to beat um, the boss, uh, you know, uh, that you know. Um, so yeah, I, I will say that Kirby and Forgotten Land, I really, uh, you know, I, you know, I, I really enjoyed that game a lot. I can certainly see why. days after the uh, after the demo for Princess Peach drop uh, was the full release for Unicorn Overlord which looks like a cool game but I don't think I'm gonna pick it up. Well, I don't play it. What I see it. I mean, it, look, it looks like it, it, it kind of looks like a farm game, you know, I'll show you the if there's like a demo or something, but, um, well, I think from what I've seen, it's uh, an actual action RPG, no farming. And all right, I'm gonna use one of my sets of doubles here. I see it twice the item bonus, same thing. Oh, well. But it, but I was still, I still made the right move anyway because the three that popped up on the first one on a right, 
would have resulted in me seeing Bowser, uh, going on the Bowser space if I had rolled normally. So, I guess you could say, I was pretty much a long call for you. Yeah, exactly. Well, you and I were kind of boxed in, so kind of no control over that. And now I'm wedged between Goomba and Boo, and yeah. Like, yeah, I know the style from what I saw. Like, it's like every other thing online, but it's not acceptable, especially in the year of 2024. Which is why. We are just a general assistant yeah. releases, which supposedly the rumors are saying for the 25 or whatever. Uh, yeah. If, if they did know, if you guys are somehow watching this, uh, please, when you get to where the online actually functions, you know, if it's not going to function, make it to where the online is free. If you get to the online is free, then you know, it's free. Take what you can get. Uh, yeah, it's actually funny you mentioned that because, uh, when the Switch first launched, the online actually was free, but then they started, uh, putting in the, uh, payment tiers. Uh, I think about a year or two years after that. Supposedly, from what I remember hearing is that they actually planned on making the online for the Switch being paid at launch, but, but then, but then, but then they decided to delay it, causing, causing the Switch Online to be free. But then a year later, after the Switch launch, that was when that was free. I didn't know this, because I remember, I remember way back when, way back when, um, when I got my Switch back in 2018, that was one of the things that, 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 that was, that was the thing I had to pay for for the online, especially since that's why I chose to be released. For that and the, the uh, you know, uh, online heavily, online focused game. Yeah. Well, I think it's fair to say that probably the, the the most popular Switch release of the 2018 year was Super Smash Brothers Ultimate. Mind, folks, that was a game that released very late into that calendar year, like the last month of that year, from what I remember correctly. So yes, I get a four, I get a five, I get an eight or a nine, call it. And Super Smash Bros. Ultimate was uh, one of my very first Switch games I ever got when I, my first uh, got the system, my first Switch 2018, it comes the show that uh, I, I always watch Smash Bros. whenever I play. Okay, well at least I, I dodged the giant piranha, so whatever, I'll allow it. Alright, well since I'm like directly beside the star, I'm just gonna roll normally. Yes, Toadette, I would love to buy another bell. <laughs> and, uh, I already told this to, uh, Daniel, uh, Dominic, but I'm gonna be seeing Wheel of Fortune live in a couple of months. Yeah, Daniel already told me that before, but, I mean, that's cool. You know, yeah, I do hope that you enjoy it, uh, when you do see it, when you, when you do see it live. Yep. And, oh, great! Dizzy dancing! Lovely! Me, meanwhile, meanwhile, I actually do, I actually do, I actually do feel like one, uh, like, I do, I do, I do, like, meanwhile, I have this video game. Yeah, uh, the weekend that I've seen it is literally about a week before his uh, PAX final episode aired. So, obviously, 
So.